Mob James's brother Buntry gets killed. Yeah. You said it happened in a car that you. I was the, the registered owner. Of, you were the owner of that car. Yes. What was the situation over there? Because he said. Uh, I mean, he said on camera who he thinks killed him. So the situation with Buntry, you said that George killed him? Yeah. And George was a, a Pyru also? Yeah. Okay. He got stabbed? Who? Uh, your brother. No, he was shot nine times. He was shot nine times. I'll say on camera. Shit. Dude's in jail. Name is G. Is it M Monkey Man? Monkey Man. Well, y'all call him Monkey Man. I, we call him G. Monkey Man is something Impo Mines <laughs> came up with and started calling him. Okay. We don't know anybody. If you even say the name Monkey Man, I think you said it in the interview with James, and he was like, who? <laughs> but we call him G, George Williams. Is but, but, yeah, yeah. George, I mean, but that name Monkey Man has been floating around as well. Info Mines did Inf something. Info Mines? Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, so he was the one that killed Buntry. He was one of the ones. Even if you look at the, uh, the composite sketch, you can see the ponytail. Now, we call him Ponytail. That's what was our code word for him. Like, if you ever heard me and Shug talking, well, he'll say ponytail because he had a moniker for everybody. But, but yeah. Okay, so why did he kill Buntry? <clears throat> All right. It was this dude, uh, it's this guy named Little Rod, Roderick Reed, and George. Uh, they were doing, they had this boy named uh, Vincent Buchanan, who was V Dog. He got killed in Compton. Tortured, dropped off, handcuffed, um, dropped off in, on Central in front of the cemetery. They were real tight with him. He was, you know, a real active, cool, fruit town Paru too. Vito, Vincent Buchanan. So, word is that Buntry was watching the tape at his house with. Um, the torture of it going down. They taped it? That's what the word is. Huh. Buntry and them house them been, and I'm not snitching because, you know, their house them been raided. It's all court paperwork where the FBI and they have been questioned for looking for this, this videotape. Okay. Shug's in prison when this incident happened. 98, 99, I don't know. That's when it happened. Now word is, okay, you know, police kidnapped them. You know, well, guys wear police jackets and stuff like that. He's handcuffed. So who, who's number one suspect when you hear police in Compton handcuffed? Reggie Jr. Hmm. Who run and work with Reggie Jr., I mean, and all of that? Shug Knight. Who's the closest person to both of them? that's allegedly watching the tape and has a videotape of it, Buntry. So now these dudes is like, okay. So these three niggas had something to do with, uh, with our boy getting killed, Roderick. And who's now G and them, they, in, they got indicted together and doing life in prison, in federal prison, where I'm about to go. <laughs> but doing life in prison, in federal prison. Um, together. And um, so now they getting word and they, they so they, they mad. They, you know, like thinking this is really true. What people don't know, they came and confront Buntry about this, you know, like a week or two before he got killed. Buntry goes and say, no, man, come on. It's not true about the tape. And we have nothing to do with this. A little bit prior to that, they kill a dude that's one of the dudes that actually did it. His name is David Brown in front of Buntry House. That was a message. They followed him over there, killed him, shot his girlfriend. Hmm. And she, she still don't have an arm from that. But killed him in front of Buntry House, sent him a message. Then they come and talk to Buntry. He denies it and all of that. And they call me. Little Ridge, we you know you know we don't believe you had anything to do with this anymore, but we want we want to know where Shug live. We, we want to get him. We give you fifty thousand dollars. Like 
fools. What are y'all talking about? Are you still a cop at this point? No, no. Okay, no, you, just, you've already. I'm just, you're gone at this point. Yeah. Ninety nine, two thousand something. Okay. Like that. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? But you're still connected to law enforcement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you're telling an ex cop. All of this, right? That they they want you to join into a murder, basically. Ex, you know, like nigga, I'm not mad at that nigga like that. We, you know, we we against each other. It's like two thousand two, two thousand. But I ain't mad at him. What are y'all talking about? We told y'all we have nothing to do with this bullshit. This is some bullshit, you know. Mm -hmm. Where is it coming from? If Buntry, because we're on the street was Buntry was watching the tape. If Buntry had the tape or watching the tape, we don't know why. But me and Sugar ain't had nothing to do with this. I call Sugar, tell Sugar, hey, these niggas is, you know, Sugar, I ain't worried about those niggas. I ain't. So everybody's starting to meet and talk and meet with people and all of that. And they had meetings behind it. But they still believe it. And um, they've been at the Buntry ever since, and they killed Buntry. In your car? In my car. Did they try to somehow tie you into it, or since it is your car? Or, or? Well, the, the stupid conspirators out there, <laughs> these, I don't even want to say their names because people was getting, start giving them views or something. Yeah. But they'll go and say, Reggie Rice Sr. was in the car, <laughs> and he took off and ran. <laughs> Where did that come from? Because they don't know. Well, I yeah. think Frank Alexander said it, but they get mixed up because the car was registered to Reggie Wright yeah. Jr. So I've been contacted by the FBI, and we all, yeah. all this done been talked about. So stuff I'm talking about, yeah, 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 y'all go report it. <laughs> They'll be like, we done heard this stuff in 2003, 2004.